Here's a brain scratcher. Overnight, you receive rain when the temperatures are below freezing. You walk outside to find not rain, not snow, but a world caked in ice. Congratulations, it's time to measure ice accretion, more commonly known as freezing rain. But before we continue, remember only to measure if you can do it safely. This applies to all measuring, but especially during ice storms. Not only is there a great danger of slipping, but the weight of ice on branches and structures can lead to disastrous consequences. Remember, safety always first. Ice covering objects is also called a glaze. It can be measured on a flat surface with a ruler, preferably with increments of tenths of an inch. You can also measure ice accretion on branches. Just make sure to measure the radius of the ice, not the whole diameter. Because ice rarely accumulates uniformly, it's helpful to take multiple measurements and calculate an average. If it is less than a tenth of an inch, report trace. But where to report it, you may ask. Since there is no designated field on the report form for this measurement, report it in your observation notes. You can still report daily precipitation by bringing your ice glazed rain gauge inside, where you can then measure the liquid amount once it thaws. Remember, you're just measuring what fell inside the gauge, not outside, so make sure to wipe the excess moisture off with a dry towel before you measure. When you go to record your measurement on the report form, remember that freezing rain is not reported as snowfall, but is simply reported as a daily precipitation amount with zero recorded for the snowfall. However, if there is any snow or sleet mixed in, then the depth of any accumulation of snow and or sleet is measured and reported as snowfall. The depth of ice from freezing rain is not reported as depth of snowfall, but it does contribute to the measurement depth of snow on ground. <laughs>